Hello, so it's me again. Um, doing more declutter stuff. Um, not to excuse the angle, but um, at least I have it uh, horizontal <laughs> instead of vertical this time. Um, so yeah, I'm going through more of my lip stuff. Um, yeah, so might as well just get into it. I've got a lot to go through, so... Um, the stuff that I'm, I'm decluttering, going to friends, or things that I that are off, expired, been around too long, going out. Um, yeah. So, this is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Ringleader. Let me give this a sniff test. Doesn't really smell like anything. Not bad. Um, let me compare this one. There is a lippy that I kind of live and die by. If I can find it, I shouldn't have covered it. It's just it's right on top. I don't know where I'm looking. Um, this is the Peri Para Velvet O2 in the color. Where are you? Did you go? Celeb Deep Rose. Wait, is this the one? This is what I get for moving things. No, it is not. Um, well, since I have it open, I might as well swatch it. So that one's um, more of a warm tone red, a little bit of orange in there. Um, I really like the velvet formula. It dries down and it it's very velvety. Um, I don't normally go for warm tones, but I'm slowly opening up to it. Uh. I'll keep this one for now because I'm kind of in that weird transition of, well, opening up to different colors. It's not cool tones. So I'll keep this one. Keep pile. Oh, I really want to compare, to swatch that one that I really, really like and compare it. Because that's kind of my gold standard is that one. Why? Oh, why did I bury it? This one I took it out too. Let's see that. Did I take it out? And I told myself I'd be more prepared. Clearly not. Um, I'll eventually find it. I'll get to it. Yeah. But it was, it was that formula, that's why I mistook that other one for it. It was that Peripera uh, Velvet formula. Um, that other one... Where did it go? This one. I will put it in a maybe. What was this? Um, yeah, I'll put it as maybe. Because if it's a lot alike, then I have a different kind of decision to make. This one is the Be the Boss lip gloss um, by Pop Sugar. Oh no, sorry, the color is Run the World. So it's a pretty dark shade. I don't mind darker, um, cool tone reds. Yeah, it's just a gloss. It's pretty nice. Gonna keep that. I'm gonna fail in decluttering again. I can just see it now. Uh, Mama, 
Kaleidos. Um, this is the Kaleidos Cloud Lab Lip Clay in Adobe. Um, Adobe was kind of warm for me. I was hoping it was a little bit more pink, but it's so brown. Yeah, no, that's just not for me. Um, part of me is kind of like, what? You paid quite a bit for it, nah, but if I'm not going to wear it, then I'm not going to wear it. So I'll give that to friends to try see if they want. This is another Kaleidos in Dune. It's another uh, cloud lip clay cup. Cloud cloud lab lip clay. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> a lot without being a lot. And it's also brown but a little bit pinkier. Ever slightly. Um, this one, my initial reaction is also the same thing, but part of me wants to keep it just in case I want to try it. All I've done with these two is swatch them out just like I did here on my hand. Um... I might play around with it, just like swatch some on my hand and then put it on my lip from the swatch and not directly. And then see how I feel with it. So this one's also a maybe. This one is ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Paper Moon. That is such a weird applicator. And it's hard. It looks like it was going to be like one of those uh, brush tips. Uh, speaking of Paper Moon, um, I saw this recently in um, TJ Maxx. Like this exact shade. Let me get the sniff test. Oh, it smells like vanilla. This one stays... Um, I'll save these for last-ish. This is NARS Hot Kiss. Got this in a box charm. If I remember right, this one was kind of too purpley. Like, the photos look a little bit different online than when you get them in third. A little bit different. It also seems like... Might not be completely in the bullet, but... It's kind of purpley. It's definitely not purple from the other NARS. Yeah, this is not really connected inside. I gotta be careful. Um, actually because it's so light. Like, it, the pigment's not super like, purple. I might actually keep this because I don't mind it when it's just a tint. I'm keeping that one. I like that. It's like when I got it in the boxy charm, I looked at it and I went I like, oh crap, that's that's not that's yeah. <laughs> and then I kind of hid it away. Um, uh, another peri para. Uh, this is the ink airy stick. It's a little bit of a different formula. Um, other than being a bullet instead of um, what you call it, doe foot and uh, a liquid. So this is an O six. Um, Daily Rose is this one. It's more of a pinky. Oh, uh, this reminds me. The, there were two Deep Slip Roses. Um, one that I already decluttered from the last declutter video. 
And I don't know if you remember, but it was way darker than this one. This is the Deep Celeb Rose from, obviously, this declutter. And I had mentioned in the other declutter that they'd have the same name, but if they were different, uh, I guess they updated the formulas and they also changed the colors. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's if you're going to go looking at some of the Peripera um, lippies, just make sure you know which formula you're looking at and like which color goes to which because they're not all the same. So this one's this one. It's a little bit of a very pinky but more on the warm tone side. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's coming off a little more orange on the viewfinder. Um, I may have lip swatched this one, so if anything, I'll keep this one. This may end up being kind of light. Um, I'll have to compare it to another one that I have. Actually, why don't I do that now? This one is maybe... I want to say it was this one. So these two came out of a, a set. It was a collab for it from... I don't remember the name of the brand. Uh, I don't remember the brand name. But it's a Chinese brand. And it's they did a collab for... Um, a, a Chinese novel. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but it's Muda Zushi. I have no idea how to actually pronounce it, and I don't know the cadence and everything that goes with the the, the title. But um, it got super popular. They did a palette, lipsticks, etc. So I got a set because I really like that novel and the animation and the live action drama that went with it. So, yeah, that's these. That's the background of these. So they're themed off of the two, the, the main character and the main lead character. Um, this is the... Okay, so they look really dark. They're really not. <laughs> um... Like, when I put it on my lip, it got so bright, it was crazy. It actually looks really dark there. I'm surprised. But I tried wearing this for Thanksgiving, and it just got so bright. Like, it's super, it, was, it felt like I was wearing this. I don't know. Maybe it just reacted to my pH or something, because that used to happen to my mom. She would wear one lips, one color lip, and it would turn like orange, <laughs> but it was like a red. This is the other one, the lighter one. Well, that's very similar to this. Maybe just slightly darker, more, more of a purpley, mauvey tone. Oh, and this is the imprint on it. I don't know if it can be seen. This magnetic closure. So regardless, these two go nowhere, and my set is not breaking up ever. <laughs> so these two keep. This one is the Elf Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss. Come on. This smells a little odd, but I didn't get this one that long ago. But it could just be... I like that green reflect. 
It's like a green gold. That's a cute. Oh, this. This came out of an Avatar set. Um, yeah, the set was for a Suki. Um, uh, Avatar is in The Last Airbender. I don't think I need to really swatch this. It's a little too, too crazy. <laughs> Not crazy. Um, I think those are the wrong words to be using here or last time, but they're a lot brighter than, or it's a lot brighter than I would ever use, um, or be comfortable using. So this one I'm going to declutter or give to friends. It wasn't swatched. It was nothing. I, I opened it and just like, I, there's no way. Uh, this one is Revolution Pro, uh, in the color Undress. This is under the new neutral satin matte lipstick. Um, this one might be a little bit light. Yeah, that's light. And very peachy. Um, I did, oh, it's like leaking oils. Um, hmm. Let me get a tissue because this is crazy. Actually, I think I, it took the whole thing off. Huh. That's probably why it's leaky. Interesting. So this is going to go out. Let me get something to wash this off. That's that. Um, oh, that's too bad. I kind of like the packaging. <laughs> uh, next, this one by Cover FX. Um, I got this in a set, uh, or as a set, um, with their blush duo case thing. Um, this is their monochromatic lip color in Warm Honey. Um, this one, it was a little too warm for me. It just wasn't my dealy. And it was too light. It, it's spitting a little bit close to that super light one. So I'm not going to swatch it. not going to anything. I'm just going to pass it on to friends. It's just not my, my color. Um, ah, Pony Effect. Uh, the Galaxy Lip Gloss in Cosmo. That is so pretty. It's got a oddball dove foot. Let's watch it next to that because they look very similar between these two. This is the um, ColourPop one. This is Pony Effect. My knuckle is probably not the best place to swatch it on, but trying to get it close to each other. This one feels a little bit more pinky, whereas the other one feels more peachy. Um, I know they're like basically the same color, but I want to keep it. <laughs> and so keep it stays. I keep it, keep it stays. Keep it goes? No. Whatever, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> so this is a Becca Glow Gloss in Foxglove. Um, this one I use at work quite a bit. Mm, this one's starting to go off a bit. Oh, but it's one of the colors I like. So that's this one. 
Um, I think I'll use it for like another month. And then that's it. It's outy. So I'm going to put this one back in my bag. My everyday in my backpack bag. Um, Revlon. This one I've had for a while. Uh, I don't remember really using it. Um, this was another one where it was back when I was just getting started and Target had a lot of random items on, like, clearance. So I was like, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty. I had no idea what I was doing. Did not really think about what it would look like on the lip. And that smells like paint. So this is probably out. It is a pretty red, though. It's actually a little better than I thought it would be. Um, this is the Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick in Top Tomato. That's this one. I don't know. I might actually like. I'm not keeping it because it's it does not smell good. Um, but I was gonna say I might actually at some point repurchase this but this one's going out it go bye bye um this one another one of my usual in my my bag wear it now and then more so the other one than this one um glosses this one smells fine this is this was one of their color changing and that's why the wand is kind of a weird pink, even though this is clear. <laughs> but you can see it slowly changing like a little bit of a pink. Just a tint. That's really all it is. This one definitely stays. Goes back in my bag. This one, that's, that's no. <laughs> this can go to friends who are a, a lot braver than I am. There's nothing wrong with it if you like those colors. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I'm not that brave. Um, this is a Fenty Beauty. Uh, oh, God. I think it was Fenty Glow. Yes, Fenty Glow in the Gloss Bomb. This one stays. I got it not too long ago. Maybe a month ago. Oof. So that was that one. I'm a lot more forgiving in color <laughs> when it's a glass because it's not a full pigment. Because I normally wouldn't go for a color like that if that was a liquid lip. Oh. This one's also in my everyday bag. Back it goes. Uh, that's too brown for me. This is the Lottie London Slay All Day in Fleek. This can go to friends. I got this in an Ipsy. <laughs> you can kind of tell when they're like these little, little guys. Um, that Fenty Beauty gloss was, um, a sample from Sephora. This is, I'm, I don't know if it's I'm Meme or I'm Mimi or May May. But this is the TikTok lipstick satin. Um, in Pink Bomber. Meme Box, I think is the brand name. It, I don't know, there's like three names on it. But yeah, this is Pink Bomber 007. And then it's the little hearts. And then the little clickies. And this was, I remember seeing these guys before Tarte, before... Um, what was the other one? Sephora has them. Kaja. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, and they could have been the same time or after, but this is the first time I've seen the clicky lippies. But this is another nice formula. That's that color. This guy stays. It's very much my kind of color. So I want to say this might even be... My, my color pop maybe this one I might keep. That one's a stay. Another, uh, this one's Kaja. The other one was Meme. Meme, Meme Box, Meme Box. 
See, it's, I guess they, they went to the same manufacturer of the packaging. But this one is the Heart Melter in Let's Chill 07. This one's very light, but this one's a gloss. Kind of like the Tarte Maracuja glossy stick or something like that. I don't have one of those, but I kind of want to try at some point. So this one stays. Another Kaja. Oh no. Hopefully it didn't. Hopefully nothing happened to it. So it's another a little bit darker. It's another like, glossy one. That one stays. Um, do that one later. This one is also one of my mainstays. It they don't make these anymore. Um, this is the Elf, the the whole pH changing one, in Perfect Berry. This is more of a chapstick. It's another one that changes to your. It has a little bit of a tint, but it changes to your pH slash body temperature. And it does it does stain a bit. Um, which is kind of nice because when it wears off, you still have something. It looks very, like, brownish purple here, but it looks nice on the lips because the red undertone underneath makes it more of a berry than a gray purple. That one stays. That one goes back in my bag. This one, uh, they also don't make anymore, unfortunately. I have to look it up, but they have one side that's darker for nighttime, for the date night, and then one for the daytime. Uh, and this one is the the best berries. This one does stain, like, and it's a very cool tone, which I like. That's that. That's the nighttime, and this is the daytime. Very similar to this one. Oh, it's kind of like a weird in between of those two. This one stays. Um, yeah. Um, that's another odd case. This one is the Soul Velvet Lipstick from Touch and Soul in Soul Rose. If I remember correctly, this one is a lot brighter than I thought. It's another where you think it's going to be one color, but... It's a very pretty color, though. Um, I don't think... No, I haven't even swatched this. Kind of looks like that one. I'll keep it and play with it. It's like bordering too bright, like too, too pink for me. Like almost like that little mini, uh, super bright, super pink color. It's kind of bordering on that. Um, <laughs> I'll have to think about this one. Because at first I was like, oh, I'm going to keep it. Now I'm kind of... Mm, I'll think about it. So this one's from Perfect Diary. In the color Ultra Everlasting... Blah, 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 Dream World Matte. The color... Okay, but what's the color? Okay. <laughs> it is a color. Unless the name is Ultra Everlasting Dream World. Um, it looks a little bit more browny than. Let's see. Come on. Um. I think it's okay. 
Yeah, I, it reminds me of the um, the NARS one that I, I decided I liked that's actually turned me on to warmer tones colors. Soul, soul something. Oh, soul, no. I don't remember. I just remember it was Seoul, like the city in Korea. No, sorry, it was Shanghai. Shanghai Express? Uh, whatever, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I am so sorry for that mistake. Uh, hopefully I didn't, you know, annoy anyone. Um, moving on. So this one's another pony effect, but it's a bullet lipstick in 005 Listen Please. This is another magnetic case. I love those. But isn't that awesome? Just just the, the case is like it it's weighty. It feels like something. This one's another warm tone red. Um you like that or are you a little bit cooler it's a little bit cooler I the viewfinder shows a little bit more orange but actually no maybe it's a little bit warmer it's a little bit warmer um I'll keep it um, again because I'm starting to open up my my horizons to warm tones which I've probably repeated about 10 times already, and I'm sorry. So keeping that, not doing so hot in decluttering. Oh, uh, the Fresh Kiss um, Glossy Lip Stain. Um, this reminds me, um, this collection, the, the, the cherries, I saw a bunch of things in um, TJ Maxx, like the liner, the cream gel liners, um, the mirror, I remember this big cherry. There was a few things from specifically this one, but this is the Love Bite. They had some ColourPop palettes. Um, they had some blushes. Uh, the Powerpuff Girls blush, etc. Um, the glossy lip stains, they kind of dry my lips out. It's definitely one of those where I'd put it on, let it sit for a little while, um, then kind of blot it off and then put like a balm or a lip, uh, lip, not lipstick, um, just a balm or something over it just to rehydrate because it gets kind of uncomfortable. That's how dry it can get. Um, I guess I'll swatch it. I work from home tomorrow, so it'll be fine. I don't, it won't look like I have a giant wound on my hand. <laughs> So it's a very red one. Um, it stains kind of a bright pink. I actually like the stain better than when it's on full. And I have worn this on, on my lips, so I'm not going to pass it on. That's this one here. Um, I'll keep it for now. Um... The Etude Mousse Tint in Berry. I don't remember how I felt about this one. I remember it, but I don't remember using it too often. It smells like... It smells like berries. It actually smells really good. Um, I'll keep this one. I, I feel like I need to play with it more. I think it just got kind of lost in all of this, <laughs> plus the other declutter. So I'll keep that. Uh, another color pop. Oh, this is Becca actually. The Champagne Cocktail Lip Gloss. Um, yeah, that's the full name. I mistook it for color pop. It looks very, very similar. I'm gonna sniff test this. Nope, vanilla. Oh, it's just a gloss, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, 
There's some more Becca. This one is... There you are. It's so hard to see because it's a white, white warded label over white glittery gloss. But um, this one is the Liquid Crystal Lip Topper. And apparently there's no specific... Oh yes, there is. Pearl and gold. I could barely see that. Sniff test. Still smells good. That's it there. It's very glittery. Um, it's like silver, <clears throat> silver, a white gold. I could have sworn of some pink specks, but it might just be reflection from all of this going on over there. Ooh, I'm starting to lose my voice, I think. <laughs> Not that I had a good speaking voice in the first place, but... Um, so I'm keeping this. I think I'm probably going to keep just about everything Becca, except that's just really bad. Um, this is the Glow Gloss in Champagne Cream. Oh, this one's off too. Damn. But I'm gonna swatch because I don't remember. Oh, it's a damn. But this one's going to be. Um, I have a little shelf, um, above my vanity that's pretty much just a display shelf for like pretty bottles and um, pretty packaging. Just things I want to things that are display worthy or things that I want to remember. Um, or have some sort of significant value to me. So this one, that's probably where this one's going to end up. Because that, that definitely smelled off. Um, this one, Smashbox. In Audition. This one was an Ipsy. This is way too late for me. That's not something I'm going to wear. Um, I never opened it, so... Because when I received it, it was pretty much a, oh, so you're that light. <laughs> you probably only get like two uses out of this. This is crazy small. I mean, compared to some of these other <laughs> trial size samples. So let's go with friends. This is the Tarte H2O Gloss in Hang 10. This was... Also Ipsy. Get back. Um, I kind of like that. It's not quite as dark as these others, but I feel like it's a tone that I'll wear regardless. Like it, it's more lip color than like a bright pink or, or a light nude. I guess it does fall in more of a nude color but I don't know I guess I can't really gauge my mood every time <laughs> so I'm keeping that this one is real her be limitless um color rich lip gloss um I haven't opened this one it looks a little too purple for me it's a little bit more purple than that one and this one was also ipsy um, I'll give to my friends. Uh, mama. This one, Becca, um, Hydrolite. This is one of those, uh, it's a, a plumping lip balm, but it's one of those that changes color. This is the berry one, if I remember correctly. Um, it's labeled as mist. Oh, no, it's not the berry one. So this is kind of like the clear one. That stain. I had a, a, a berry one, a, a pink one, and then there was that one that I kind of forgot about. Another Kaja um, in Heart Melter in Crazy For You. That one stays. 
That's another one that's more on the glossy side. And another I meme. May may meme box. Uh in the color red ribbon. Um that one's kind of bright, but I did use it before. I did lips uh yeah, lip swatch this. Um I do like the formula though. And it is very opaque. Um, 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 um. I'll keep it and then I'll probably blot just to shear it out a bit and make it more of a tint. Because I don't know, I don't like. I don't wear super bright, like, in-your-face reds unless, like, it's a little more subdued, like a gloss, but... I also can't seem to get rid of it because I kind of like it. <laughs> I gotta force myself out of my comfort zone. I'm not gonna try to do it with that. Famous lost words. Um, Becca Rose Gold. I had I had a few of these minis running around because when I was ordering from Becca before they went out, um, they would always let you like pick like two or three um, sample things, and this was usually one of the things because it's kind of like hey, why not give to friends, give to whatever. But and that is definitely off. I have really no sentimental attachment to these tiny little ones because I had a bunch floating around. Um, besides it being out, I don't think I'm going to keep that for anything. Even display, I don't think. That goes out. Uh, Pony Effect Powdery Whisper Lipstick in the color Spell On. Zero Ten Spell On. This is another one of that pretty cool lipstick. This one's a keep. I like it when they're darker. This reminds me a little bit of a darker Shanghai Express. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, Bare Minerals in Friendship. This is the Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip. Mmm. Does that smell- oh, that smells so good. That smells like a cupcake or something. Like chocolate? Like- oh my god. That's kind of too brown for me. But on the cap, it actually looks kind of nice. Um, what's this one right here? I actually want to keep this one. It is a brown tone, but it's also kind of a mauve. It, like, it has a bit more pink to it. And I really, really like that scent. It's so... Ugh, it reminds me of a cake, like a chocolate cake or brownies, something. It smells so good. Fudge? Something. Like, it's not, like, the chocolate scent that you think of, of, like when you smell one of the Too Faced palettes or something that's like, oh, chocolate scented. No, this smells like you just put your nose in a brownie or something. Or in a, in a chocolate cupcake or cake something in batter. Keeping that. <laughs> um, this one 
it's Dragon Beauty. Then you have to need to see the name in Bad Bitch. Good thing I'm not monetized. Um, it's kind of late. Is this a gloss? No, it's a liquid lip. I don't know. It's kind of late for me. Um, I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to swatch it on my hand like I did here and then apply it to the lip from the swatch and not from here. And I'll try it that way. And if I don't like it, if it is too light, then I'll give it to my friends because it, it's sort of in a weird... It's in that weird position like that other, uh, I guess I didn't swatch it, um, that Tarte one, that Tarte H2O one, where it's like, yeah, it's too light, but it looks like a color I'd wear. So I'm going to do that with this one. I'm going to apply it from a swatch. Uh, Context Beauty, um, in Running Free, this is also Ipsy. Uh, it's very much like this, like the Dragon Beauty one, maybe a little bit darker. I'm going to give this to friends. Let me, oh, no, would have been bad. Uh, let me compare it to the other two, actually three, no, two, never mind. So this one is also context. This is in Say Love. Um, that's too pink, too pink for me, I think. Yeah, no. Nah. No, that's okay, that's too pink. I like that one, I'm just gonna... This one I've used before. This one is in Sweet Emotion. Um, kind of light. It's another one I think I'll have to try again. To see how I feel now that, like, my thoughts on some of these colors have changed. Um, with this one, I'm looking at this one now, and I think this ColourPop one, I think, is going to be too light. Because I'm looking at this, and I, my brain says no. Um, this one... I haven't even swatched this one. It's very, very light. Um, the usual vanilla scent. I think I might actually keep this one. So I'll keep these two. Um, the elf, oh, the lip stains. This is in Pinkies Up. I don't know, I wasn't really a big fan. This one didn't really seem to do anything. Like, I mean, with a color this light, what is there to tint? on my lips it didn't do anything so it's kind of meh if I was to try again it would be a different color so I'm just going to let that one go let me sniff that too make me feel better about tossing it meh didn't smell off but it wasn't like ooh I love that scent um oh this one okay so I had mentioned in my other declutter that there was two matte lipsticks that like just stayed on even through like masks and everything. Even talking in the masks, so like lips rubbing and everything against it and nothing come came off. Um, the other one was uh, the matte liquid lip for Anastasia and this was the other one. And this one is in Praline Petal. This is another one that I kind of like lived and died by. Oof. Lived and died by. 
because it was kind of a my lips but better. So get back in there. And that's this one. Mm, you smell. Still smells the same, so no real scent. That stays. Um, 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 um. I'm gonna do some of these. So this is Anastasia Liquid Lip in Crush. This might be too pink. I gotten this one off of Ipsy in their their shop things, and I I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker. I thought it was gonna be like this because at during this time when I was wearing this one and the other one, the uh, other Anastasia, I was like hunting for more of this kind of color, and I thought it was gonna be it, but it's just too light. It's not. not a color I I would look at and say, huh, maybe. Because I know that these guys are pigmented, so. This can go to friends. Ah, there you are. This is the lip. Um, this is my ultimate. I will wear it to and for anything. Um, the It's the Velvet, Peripara Velvet, Ink Velvet 17 in Rosy Nude. So, besides... This one and the Anastasia one that was a similar color. It was this one of the Catherine's, I think. Um, this is kind of my gold standard color. Still smells good. You see, they're kind of basically the same, just a different formula. This one's more velvety, like when you when you press your lips together. You felt that velvetiness, and or if you touched your lips, you feel that velvetiness. But this is my gold standard. These two. This was a uh, my lips, but ten times better. <laughs> that stays, and that goes back on my vanity. This one is uh, Rowan. <laughs> liquid lip balm in Charlie. Got this recently in Box Charm. That's that. Come on. So yeah, that stays. Has a little bit of a minty smell. Not a huge uh, fan of mint, but it's not gonna like put me off either. She stays. Um, ZC. I really love my ZC stuff. I have a bunch of their palettes um, and a few other um, random items. But this is their ZC and the British Museum. They did a collab. And they did um, the Egyptian stuff um, for with the museums. Um, some of their stuff um, and then they also did with the British Museum uh, Alice in Wonderland and then Picasso they had another collection so this is the luxury satin lipstick I got this from friends um, this will go nowhere I don't care if it smells like whatever if it went off I don't care this goes nowhere I am a very sentimental person, and I like Egyptian everything, so <laughs> this is this. I don't know if you can see all the hieroglyphics printed into it. It's, it's one of those where I want to use it really bad, but like at the same time, <laughs> I don't want to mess up all of the imprints. So it's kind of like, I love that they do that, and when a brand puts that onto their lipstick, but at the same time I'm kind of like, no, <laughs> then I'm not going to want to use it. So this is another um, Chinese brand, like, um, you'll probably see a lot of, I've seen a lot of advertising for Florisys, um, being one of them, 
and this is another one, but it's a lot like Florisys where they put a lot into their packaging, but it's in a more affordable um, price level. So yeah, they have quite a bit of different things, different types of collections, different um, palette types as in like, oh, quads, uh, larger palettes, nine pans, etc. So yeah, they have both from neutral to super colorful. <laughs> so that's that. That will go nowhere in my lifetime. I will bite anyone who tries to take it from me. <laughs> so this is another Revolution Pro new neutral satin matte lipstick in stripped. Um... Looks kind of brownie, but you can't always go by the top labels. Half the time they're like a different shade from what they actually are. Let's hope this one doesn't come off. Okay. So this one is coming apart. Um. Yeah, no, that's okay. And I think the thing is broken. I'm going to swatch it, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. That's, that's actually kind of nice, though. <laughs> it's kind of light for me, though. Um, and now it won't retract. There we go. I think what I'm going to do, since it was kind of messed up, I'm probably going to keep it as display because I like the packaging. And then that's it. That, that's all it's going to be. It's going to be... It's going to sit there and look pretty. <laughs> Because this is all messed up. It's ready to just fall out. Because it, like, half of the bullet, like, halfway down was just crumbled and all messed up. So this one's going as display only. Kind of like that other, um, Becca lip gloss. This is a tinted lip oil. I need another one. A different one. This one I used quite a lot, too, along with that, uh, berry colored one. This is in the shade Mocha Kiss. It still smells good, but... I don't know. It's been around. I should just get another one. And it looked far more separated because it was laying outside, but you can see I used quite a bit. I really should just get another one. How is that? <laughs> Goodbye. This came from that large set um, from Beauty Concepts from a good while ago. Um, it actually came with maybe 10 different ones. But I had split them up with friends a while back. Um... Smell this. It smells like, it, like most people say, like crayon. Then it gotta go. But I kind of like that. <laughs> but it gotta go. Out it go. Um, this is the other one. This is the pink one. Um, it says lilac, but it's kind of pink. <laughs> this one stays. This is just a balm, and it does a little bit of that pH tinting thing. That one stays and goes back on my vanity. This Stila one. Uh, stay all day liquid lipstick in patina. Um, I haven't even opened this. This was another Ipsy. I'm... I think I'm gonna keep this one? Question mark? Kind of looks like that. Is this a mat? Um, you know what? Actually, I think I'll just give it to friends. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give it to friends. I, I I'm looking at my hand. I'm like, all of this is like that. Those tones <laughs> is that tone. I should say. Uh, another Tarte Arched H2O Gloss in Sail Away. This one looks like I'd probably... 
a color I'd use. I think I was using this one for a little while. Yeah. That one stays. Just a lot of these, like, I'll use them a bunch of times and then I'll forget because I get something else. And then I move on and then it's just a never-ending thing. And then I get, like, a few of my staples, like the ones in my, my work bag. That stays. Lottie London. Slay all day. And the color so good. Another Ipsy. Um, I'll give it to a friend. It's it looks brown, but it's kind of when you look at it in the light and trying to avoid all the text, it's not quite as brown. It's probably closer to this kind of color. A little bit darker. Kind of an in-between of this and this, but either way, friends. Uh, this one I just got. It's the Bell and Arjun. It's a, a lip balm in main character. The name of it is main character. The, the shade name. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> so that's that. I only just got it recently, so... Haven't used it yet. Oh, did I open upside down? Yes, I did. Okay, well, whatever. Um, the ColourPop Lux Liquid Lip, uh, not Liquid Lip, Lux Lipstick. I don't know why I said that when I didn't read it. Um, this is in Y2K. I remember getting a few of these during one of their sales and then just being like, this is not the color I thought it was going to be. Um, this reminds me actually of one of the colors. So this smells good. Um, one of the colors that I got rid of because I had it for a while. So I'll keep this one, because the other one I was using, it was one of my first from Ipsy. Actually, I want to say it was another Bella Pierre lippy. So that one stays. This does a color I knew. Um, this one's been around a while. This is one of their, the Elf Matte Lipsticks. This is in Cranberry. Yeah, I get that. Doesn't smell like anything. No crayon. No really off Becca scent. <laughs> and it's not super crazy. I think that's that's a wearable red, I think. Uh, this is another one of those, the beauty concepts. Um, I'm just going to toss this one, same as the others. Milani in 120 can't even. I do did not even remember having this. Doesn't smell like anything. Um, the matte lip crayon, ludicrous. Wasn't there a collection quite a while ago? Mm, I should probably just toss it. It's kind of similar to that Revolution one, which is kind of too light for me. Kind of sad face that I forgot I had that. This one is MAC Luster Glass Lipstick in Can, can You Tell? You can tell I was at Marshall's or TJ Maxx again. Just from... <laughs> Give it to me. So this one. This might even be too light. Oof, that is super light. That's a lot lighter than 
Even the bullet. That's so weird. No, oh, my friend's gonna have that. It's a little too late. One of my friends is a lot more open and confident in wearing colors, so they might like it. Um, these two I just got. Uh, this was actually this month's uh, boxy charm. Um, what you call it? Drop shop. So this is the dose of colors. It came in a duo in goals. That one also smells like cake. It's a nice white gold kind of gloss. Kind of similar to the, the Becca one, which I think was this one. Also, I just noticed that my two glosses just bled into each other. That looks kind of gross, so unintentionally gross. But, um, that's this one. It stays. And I'm gonna wipe that mixed color off. Where have I put my tissue? There you are. fine for now. Uh, this is the second part in that set in the shade Seriously. This looked a little more reddish in the pictures and then when I got it it's like nude brown. So I'm hoping it's sheer enough kind of like Fenty Glow and stuff where it's not The viewfinder shows it as a little bit more warm tone orangey than to the eye, but I'll try it with another uh, arm to lip swatch. Swatch it on my arm and then apply the swatch to my lip. If not, then at least it wasn't lip swatched and I can give it to my friends. Uh, the NARS. This one I got in... TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, I saw them actually recently there. This is the Mini Orga Orgasm Lip Duo. Oop. So that's the gloss. And hopefully I didn't... I may have messed up the stick. No! <laughs> Please don't fall out. Okay. So that's that. It's just a bomb, so it's not going to show much, but that is a nice color. Um, this. I'm going to leave it in its packaging just because. And then this one, I don't... I was going to say, I don't know if I want to swatch it, but... <laughs> It's not as glittery as I thought it was going to be. That's that one there. You can see this one's like way glitter glitterier than this one. This one's more of a shine with a slight tint. Either way, this stays. That's about these two. Uh, this is from, from Rude Cosmetics. This is their, um, they have a whole manga line of different items. Um, uh, highlighters, lip balms, um, they just came out with lip oils. That's this one. And then they had a few eyeshadow palettes, but they would have, like, different lines. Like, they had the cat girl one, they had the student one, this one is the dragon one. Um... And yeah, I 
because I do cosplay and stuff with my friends, it's kind of like, oh, gee, you know, kind of general interest in the fact that somebody did a whole line of anime inspired um, cosmetics. It's kind of like, I need to try that. <laughs> So this is the bomb. This is one of those color changing ones. It's see through. <laughs> it's one of those pH ones. I'm not gonna swatch it because I'm gonna keep it regardless. This is the lip oil. And when it says sparkle lip oil, they were not kidding. Like, the glitter in this is clearly a lot bigger than, say, these guys, where it's the very fine glitter. This is... no, it's glitter. <laughs> Smells so good. Um, it's not like the usual uh, berry scent. It's much more candy berry. Like it makes me think of gummy bears. But yeah, you can see maybe the larger glitter particles. Like I see green and red and purple. Maybe purple. I'd say mostly green and red. I don't know if it's even going to show up in the viewfinder, in, on film or anything, but that one I just got recently, so I have to use it more to really have an opinion. Those stay. This one, the Essence, what the fake, pumping, pumping gloss. Uh, I'm meant to use it and I haven't. This is just a clear one. So I'm not going to open it because I have a bunch of those other Too Faced lip injection ones. Um, so I'll spare that. going to keep it. And speaking of, this is another one. That was also TJ Maxx. Um, Stars Are Aligned. This is a lip injection. Lip gloss. Another one I'm not going to open because this was actually like spares because I was using the um, that other one. Uh, Wanna Play, I believe it was. That, that purpley pink one. Quite a bit. So. I was also using it as like before putting on the actual lip color I was going to use. So. That stays. Um. How many do I have? I knew I had a lot, but oh my god. It, it kind of feels like the this just keeps coming back from nowhere. Um, I know this has to be off, too. Has to be. Yep. That's no bueno. Bye-bye. Out. Um, oh, these guys. So the story behind these guys. Um, I had seen these... Um, in not CVS, not Walgreens, the other one. Not Dwayne Reed. Maybe it was Walgreens. No, it was Walgreens. But either way, they're the Zodiac Wet n Wild glosses. Um, and I was just kind of like, I saw pretty much all the signs there, except maybe one or two. And I decided I was going to pick up one for each person in my family. Um, I'm, I'm the only person in my family that actually wears any sort of makeup, but... <clears throat> it was more so, you know, oh, that one's my sister's sign, that one's my mom's sign, my dad's sign, my sign. And then I picked up uh, a few for my friends with their sign. Uh, so, yeah, that's where this came from <laughs> and why they're, I have so many. But these are, I got them more for personal value, I guess, than for, like, their color. Even though, luckily, their colors are nice. So, and I haven't opened them yet. I had them on my display, um, thing. My, my display shelf. 
<clears throat> so this one is Libra. It's a pink with a gold uh, flip. You can't even really see the gold, but it's there. You can sort of see it, but that one stays. This one is, I want to say Capricorn. Yeah, uh, yes, Capricorn. This one's kind of a dark red with like a bronzy flip. You can sort of see the bronze along the sides. This one is Pisces, that's me. It's a light pink with a blue shift. You can see the blue going down the middle. And then this one is Sagittarius, which is just a very deep, deep, very... It doesn't so much have a flip like the others do, though. But it does have some multicolored glitters, and I believe these are still being sold. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon lip gloss. So yeah, even if they're, those expire, they, they're, they're more symbolic for me of like family and stuff. So they, they're going to stay and stay on my shelf even after they expire. So these, kind of the same thing. <laughs> the Becca Prismatica glasses. Um, I should probably give them a sniff test. Um, these came in the set at the same time, so I'm just going to give... One, I really don't want to set them all off. Yep, smells good. Really good. So yeah, that's perfectly fine. It just seems like it's it was that the the goldy colors that were kind of off. So yeah, this came out of the Prismatica collection. They had um, this, they had a face palette. Um, I think they had something else. I don't have that though, but I have the the, the face palette. That, that'll be another video because it's probably getting super long. Yeah, it's hour and 17. I'm almost done, I promise. <laughs> Last days gonna have to try to go faster um this one hourglass uh confession and refillable lipstick duo in in their ghost collection this i got from sephora um on sale not that long ago and i haven't even taken it out of the thing yet May I please have the item I paid for? This is still on sale on, on Sephora's site. I saw it not too long ago. Give to me. Give it. why okay so this came in a set of two and you basically you change them out but that's that one it's the lighter one and then the here we go again this one is the deeper one like a deep, deep red. Whoa. Dropping everything. Um, I really don't want to put them back in the package. But I'm afraid of losing this. Um, I wonder if I can just... Uh, no. 
well. I was going to just slightly push it in like this one so it would be able to like stay, but that's a problem for later me. Lip liners. Um, this one from Thrive Cosmetics. This is in. This is the lip. Lip fuller lip liner. In the shade, it might be Gislon. Gislon. I remember using this one a few times. Nice and creamy. This is a Persona um, lip liner in 90210. I just got this one. It's a bit brownier than I thought, but... Yeah, that's a lot browner than I thought it was going to be. It looks more like a, a um, like a warm tone red in the picture. This is NYX uh, Professional in hot red. This. This is not a lip pencil. This is actually for eyes, brows. It's just a, yeah. It's kind of a champagne colored shine. You just put it under your brow or your inner corner or um, in your waterline. So that should not be there. This is Milani. This is like my first lip liner. I don't have many because I don't use it that often, but. Yeah. I've used that a few times. And then... This one's an odd case. This is the um, Alley Oop Pen Pal in, in Make A Mauve. Because this one has a lip liner in it. <laughs> but it's also got a ton of other things in it. I've actually also used this as a uh, blush because it does blend out. It takes a bit, but it blends out. So it's got like a little highlighter. It has little glitter particles in it though, but it's similar to this one. Um, it has a brow product in it. It's kind of dry though, the, the brow pencil and then it has an eyeliner so yeah that's that that stays because I like the convenience this one is it's a little pan of actually it's a lipstick um, it was actually for a refill for a, one of their palettes but it's by blessed moon and it's just a little pan. I just like the color. And I kept it because I didn't like I my original thought was, oh, I'll put it in my own, you know, uh magnetic palette. But then I got to thinking, you're gonna get all these powder eyeshadows and stuff all up in this. So just keep it in his box. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm just gonna keep that there. Uh, another lip liner, Vintage by Jessica Liebskind, Cashmere Lip Pencil in Mocha. I, don't, I probably said that wrong. Oh, I haven't even opened this. Um, it looks like a brownie red. I'm not entirely sure. It kind of looks like this color. The light's kind of messing it up. Um... I think I'll keep this one. I know for these, a lot of these are probably going to go out. Um, this is the Revlon Color Stay Over Time, where you put the lip color on, and it's super drying if you do not put the gloss on. You have to put the gloss on, but otherwise it stays through everything. The top coat uh, will kind of wear down, but it still at least keeps the lips from like getting super dry. 
This was an ultimate wine. Um, this one's just gonna go. I've had it for a while, yeah, and it smells kind of paint-like. This one, Meet Matt Hughes. This was also Ipsy. This one's been a while. I'm running out of space. Put it where that other was. Um, meh. It's complaining. It's a little bit more orange brown. It's right here. And then I'd like. I think I've already put this on my lips, so that was also Ipsy. Oops. This also Ipsy. This is the Pop Sugar Matte as Hell in Viola. This one was super purple, if I remember correctly. Um, meh. Yeah, it's just as purple as I remember it. It's not even like berry, it's just very purpley. Um, I've already lip swatched this one, that's how I know it's kind of meh. For me, anyway. Um, it's fine if other people like it. I'm not saying that people can or it's bad or anything. It's just not my color. So, and I lip swatched it so I can't pass it on. These two, same deal. Oh, no. Getting lipstick on everything. And I'm running out of arm. <laughs> um... This is the Liquid Matte Lipstick in Praline. I was hoping to find another, uh, like, the, the Praline petal, and it's just too nude for me. See, it's very brown. And unfortunately, this one was also lip swatched. This is that e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick, the one that did not budge on me. Oh, it's because I'm not going to wear it. I hate to see these go, though. This is in Marvelous. Um, I think I'll keep this one. I don't remember. I think when I got it, I was expecting more of a mauve, and this is more of a pink. I'll keep that one. I'm gonna get this all over my t-shirt. This one... Oh, I guess my backup of uh, praline petals. That stays. This one is Sony Kashuk. Uh, Lustrous Shine Crayon in Dahlia. Uh, it's probably gonna be similar to this or this. Um, I'll keep it. I haven't tried their formula and mm, I also know that they don't make makeup anymore. They just make brushes. Um sniff test it is. See it's like when they're shrink wrapped like this, I'm I'm kinda like avoidant of actually opening and swatching. I'm gonna do that later. I'm not gonna make anyone sit through this. Um, this one I don't think I've put on my lips. It's too late. This was also Ipsy, if I remember right. It's just too late for me. This is this one right here. It's too bad because I like the cloud designs. You know what, maybe I'll just try doing the arm to lip swatch on it and see how I feel. This one, no. Haven't even opened it. This is another, oh it's a clearance item at Target. Don't know what I'm doing. Um, I should probably give it a sniff test. If it smells bad, it's not going to friends. Hold on. Just 
Give me it. Meh. Paint. That's what it smells like. This one, context, this was one of my first, like, full-sized gloss anything or liquid lip. Yeah. Li liquid lacquer. This is in Mad Love. This was also Ipsy. Um, I do remember wearing this once or twice. That was this one. Actually, you know what? I'll keep this one, and then this one was the Pacifico one. I'll pass it on to friends, because this one's a little bit deeper, and this one was, like, borderline. Interested, not interested. Actually, this one's starting to smell not that great. Like, it still has that sweet vanilla scent, but it has, like, an undertone of, like, butter. <laughs> uh, this one is Colored Rain. In 24-7. That one stays. Yep, doesn't smell like anything. Uh, the Peri Para. Yeah, Peri Para. Cushion Tint Pang. It's one of these. It's just a tint, but it's like orange. And I have used that on my lip. Um, smells like candy. Um, 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 I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh, uh, these lip crayons, the Mayo. This was uh, definitely Ipsy. For a while there, they had like, they were selling these nonstop. And giving these away ever everywhere. They were just a tint. They were like lip balms. Um doesn't smell like anything, which is fine. I really wish they had like they would retract these, but that one will stay. This one no, that's okay. That's a little too brown for me. They came in a set. Uh, it's still very brown. This one, no, too brown. Oh, and down to the last. This was a set that I got for Fenty. This is the Gloss Bomb Heat, um, the Gloss Bomb Cream, and then the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Illuminizer. Um, I don't remember the names. There we go. Fenty Glow in the the Bomb Heat, I believe, was the lip plumper. And Gloss Bomb Cream in lip, in Cupcake in. And Gloss Bomb in Fuchsia Flex. This goes nowhere. This stays with me. Last, very, very last, um, is this one. This is a, a set, and obviously Egyptian-themed. So... Um, they're all very, very red, except for one, this one. Um, they're gonna stay because, if anything, they're display. Regardless if they go off or not. Eh, doesn't smell like much of anything. But this one's this one. It's got a sun disc, so I want to say that's supposed to be raw. It's kind of a warm tone. Slight orange tone red. I used to be much more familiar with the Egyptian gods, but not so much anymore. This one's very much a nude. Not my color, but it's staying with the set. And there's this one. Yeah, the colors are just numbered. It's very deep. It's almost like a warm tone deep. Like I, <laughs> I want to say I wanted to say cranberry, but most cranberries I see are more cool toned, purple based. 
And is this one, I think that might be Osiris, maybe? I'm taking a guess. That's a little bit more of a, a cooler cranberry, or deep red. Almost like a blood red. And then one of my favorites is Anubis. And that's more of a classic red. Slightly cooler than the other one. So this set stays. Oh, I see two that I missed. Actually, technically four. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, five. I missed a few. Okay, so these are the last ones. And I, I need to stay standing. My knees are messed up. So this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and a liquid lip in Dusty Rose. It's a very light pink. I've had this one for a while. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit of a smell. It's ver oops, I'm off camera because I'm standing now. But it's this one is very similar to this one, which I don't remember which one that was. It's a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, I'll keep this one because it's very similar to. It's very similar to these two, and these two were my my ultimate favorites. This was the elf one, and then this one was the uh, the velvet ink one. That stays. My Fenty little mini duo. This was from the, the holiday collection. Uh, in 01, the MVP, and 06, Scholar Sister. I originally got for Scholar Sister because I was cons like very seriously considering um, getting the full-sized. So this is MVP. Is it like a deep cool tone red? Cool tone to neutral red, but I'd say more on the cooler side. And this is Scala Sister, which I've worn. So that's those. These were recent. This was this is this year's holiday collection. The little minis and then the um Whatchamacallit? <laughs> My brain's not working anymore. Um, this set, and then it had the, the blush duo, the cream blush duo, and then this case. So I was going to get Scala Sister, Sister with this case, but I wanted to try the mini when I actually saw it instead of going and spending like the whole 21 for one. And it was on sale, so why not? <laughs> Um, that was Ulta, by the way. They have that this collection um, on sale already. So I actually got that the refillable case for I think it was eight dollars, and then this was sixteen, I think, or twelve. I don't remember. So I, these are very last two, I believe, these are the last ones. Uh, ColourPop. This was the designer collection for collabing with Disney. So this one's in Prince Charming. Um, I don't think I was a big fan of this one. It was too light. Yeah, I think it was too light, too bright. And it smells a little bit off now. Yeah. There we go. So it's this one. It's a it's too bright for me. It 
looks re really pretty in the bottle, but not my deal. And I know I've worn this on the lips. That's how I know it's just, it's too bright for me. But I do like the box. <laughs> but technically, not my color. It was already swatched on the lips. And it's probably expiring soon. This one um, is Flynn. It's another of the Disney collection. And this one's a bit darker, so this one I'll probably keep. That smells a little better. Yeah, this one I'll keep. Because it's similar to these, these guys. Oh, and that is my lippies. Yeah. <laughs> that is all of them. Um, as for these guys, um, I don't know if I put this on my lip. I probably did. Um, it's kind of late though. Um, I'll test this one out. This was kind of lost in the bottom of everything, so I'll give it another shot. That was this one. Oh, that was this one. I'm kind of standing and leaning over now, so I'm kind of... I'll, I'll give it a shot. If not, it goes out. Um, this one, Kaleidos in Dune. This was the really brown one, if I remember right. Yeah, that's the really, really brown one. It's just not my cup of tea. This can go to friends. Is that the, the pinkier one? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. If it's it was if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's this one. It's still if it's the one I'm thinking of. It's this one. And it's still kind of too brown for me. Um, this one. What was this one? This was the rose one, right? The daily rose. Yes. I don't remember which swatch this was. My arm hair is like messing up the swatch. Um, I don't think it's a color I'll go for. I don't believe I've worn this on, on my lip, so I'll give it to a friend. And then this one, the Soul Velvet Lipstick. This was the bright one. I believe it was this one. Yeah. I believe it was that. Yeah. Um... This one was part of that collection for the novel, and it's very similar to this. They're just two different formulas, though. Um, no, I think I'll pass it on. I know I haven't lip-swatched this. 
I'll pass it to a friend. Ooh, now my back hurts, plus my knees hurt. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, as far as I understand, everything, yeah, <laughs> of any sort of question. Um, actually, you know what, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this. This has been around a while, and I've forgotten it existed, so no point. Um, yeah. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, hopefully some of the next ones in the future are gonna be a little bit shorter. Um, I have mascaras and eyeliners and face palettes, blushes, highlighters, a lot of highlighters. Um, a few bronzers because they're not really my thing. And then eyeshadows on top of eyeshadows on top of eyeshadows. So I'll be doing that next. Um, I'll probably be doing some of my smaller things like the blushes next. Blushes and uh, face palettes. And then I'll go on to the giant mess that is my highlighters. Um, blushes and bronzers I'll probably do together. And face palettes. And then I'll... I'll attempt the big giant mess of highlighters and um, eyeshadows. Oh, and foundations, I guess, because that's not a lot either. Anyway, yeah, I hope this was relaxing, soothing, or informative. I, whatever. I hope it was entertaining of some sort or useful of some sort. And hopefully I'll see you for the next declutter.